Let me show you just a couple quick roof tricks. Um, question was, how do we make these gable ends here be at 12 and 12 pitch without turning off automatic roof building? That's pretty easy. We're just going to select the adjacent wall to our gable end. So that's this wall right here, right? Here's my gable end. There's that adjacent wall. I want to select both sides because walls carry with them roof directives. So I'm going to select all the sides of my gable ends and notice that this one shares this wall right so if i open this up and then get into the roof panel here's where i can set that pitch and in this case i'm going to make it a 12 and 12 pitch and you'll see that the auto build roofs will adjust this now that's one way of changing these to a 12 and 12. another thing that you can do is you can always select a window and in your edit toolbar gable over that window and you can set a 12 and 12 pitch here and even change the overhang so that's going to produce a gable line now what is a gable line that's it right there guess what we can use this in other ways as well we can get into the build menu into the roof and we get the gable roof line tools right there so we could use that tool to just draw out a line and you guessed it this is going to produce a gable on the side here as well now what's another way we can do this and still keep on the auto build roofs well let's get into the auto build roof menu and make roof baseline polylines and so this will take over as the directive for how roofs are being built so that I can take this polyline, break it like I typically would, maybe even use sticky mode. So we add a couple of breaks here and then get out of that and select this section right here. I could even extend this out if I wanted to. And because that's the selected edge, I can set this to be a full gable wall here. So take a look and you can see that this will be building a huge <laughs> ridiculous roof on the backside. Hopefully that helps you out. Thanks.